Zombie SS here. I uh, wanted to show you my e-bike throttle interface that I've been working on. Uh, what you see here is a PIC microprocessor an electronic potentiometer controlled over SPI protocol and some trim pots. Uh, the lower trim pot sets the low voltage this one sets the upper limit and this one sets the averaging and the delay filter. Now what this will do is allow you to uh, simplify how uh, quickly the throttle kicks in when you engage the throttle. As we all know from using direct drive hub motors uh, of both geared and the standard kind, they tend to engage pretty harshly at times and are wheelie prone. So I'm trying to solve that with this. And let me give you a quick demonstration of what this does. Over here on my scope I have two traces set up. The first one you see reading 0.843 and the second one you see reading 0.846. Point. The second one is the output. The input is of course then the first one. So what I'll do is I'll give a quick full uh, throttle whack here so you can see what this would output. And of course it's off the scope. There we go. And you can see there's about a one second delay. And of course when you let off it immediately goes down. Now if you bring this up, it'll come up and then if you start jittering your throttle while you're riding, it'll smooth and average it out. And you have complete control over how long you can want that filter set. You can set it all the way up to two seconds or all the way down to zero so everything's instantaneous. I'm going to try and uh, ride around on this and see what it's like. Uh, the throttle is also exponential. Let me speed up the scope here so you can see the readings, what happens. Uh, let's get it down to about 5 milliseconds or so so you can see the voltage readings. So you'll see uh, right now everything's sitting at zero and what I'll do is I'll slowly start increasing the throttle and you will see that they are not one to one. In fact, when I get to two volts on the throttle, it's only outputting right at one, 1 1.57 volts on the output. And as we go up to three volts, we have a nice exponential curve. We're now outputting 2.5. And of course, if I go wide open throttle, they all match up, and they're both outputting right around 4.26 volts. So hopefully this will uh, solve some of the issues. The averaging also works when you're slowing down as well. So you don't want to set it too long, uh, because what will happen is you might not slow down as quick as you think. So it might take a little bit of getting used to. I actually have not ridden with this yet. I'm hoping to do so tomorrow to test that out. But if you do let off, it will instantly go back down to the zero setting. And of course, with the trim pots here, they allow you to set your upper and lower voltage limits. Once again, flip it all the way up. You see it comes up. Just takes it one second to get there. And then it resets all the way if you let off. And of course, if you start jittering your throttle, you get some averaging. So when you're doing bumpy riding, hopefully you won't get the herky-jerkies and uh, end up doing power wheelies, especially if you're on a high power bike. So that's it. I'm going to attempt to install this tomorrow. So hopefully uh, you'll see a post from me soon uh, on the Endless Sphere with uh, details on whether or not it worked.